Hi all, welcome back to another video. Today let's discuss about the calendar module in Odoo 16. One of the necessary ways to strengthen the relationship between employees and clients is conducting regular meetings or conferences. An efficient planning system is required to organize all the programs and activities. The Odoo 16 calendar module manages every internal or external meetings and ensures to schedule activities in the company. Moreover, appointment details are recovered quickly using this module. It is easy to manage meetings and online appointment in a company effectively with Odoo 16 calendar module. Now, let's take a look at the calendar module. For that, let's open the calendar. Now, inside the calendar, you can see all the meetings which are scheduled. Now, each color represents each user or each attendees. So you can see yellow represents Michelle Edmonds meetings, blue represents Mark demos and if it's red, it means it's Wood Corners meetings and all. So here you can see all the scheduled meeting, the days, you know, the time is given here and all. Okay. So let's see how to schedule a meeting or how to add a meeting towards this. Now let's add a meeting. Let's say business. business lunch okay so here you can see michelle edmund if you want you can remove it and select attendee like anyone so i'll put michelle edmund itself that's michelle edmund here you have email as well as sms here so just clicking on email will send email to the attendees so if i add again more attendees like your company michelle edmund then I'm adding Abigail Peterson. So there are one more than one uh, attendee. So if I just click on mail, a mail will be sent to the attendees about the meeting. Or if I choose SMS, then SMS will be sent to the attendees. Now here we have the meeting details where we specify everything. That is the starting time, ending time, duration and all of the meeting. Now here we have the starting time of the meeting, which is 10, 11, 5.30, it will start at 5.30 and end at 6.30, which means the duration is one hour. If you want, you can change it. And we also have some other ways to change it. I'll show that. Now here, we have the duration one day. And if it's all day, like every day, the same thing will like, you know, repeat, then you can check on every day. I'm not clicking that. Now here you have the organizer of the meeting. So it's Michelle Edmin. And if you have any description, you can give the description of the meeting. Now, if you want to set reminders of this meeting, that is, it can be a mail, okay, before three hours, a mail will be sent, or it can be a SMS text message before one hour, an SMS will be sent. Likewise, you can set any reminders, okay. Now, here you can choose the location, okay, and if you don't choose a location, there's nothing, you can choose a location. For the meeting now here we have video call url and if it's a video call you can you know specify the url now here you can see add odoo meeting that means odoo will give a url for the video call and here you can see a new button which is join video call so by just clicking on that you can join the video call now here you have the tags so what kind of meeting it is for easy identification we can specify tags okay now next we have the options so if it's a recurrent meeting, you can just check on that or, or if not, then just leave it. If it's recurrent, click on that. Here you have to see when all will it repeat. Okay. So that can be chosen from here. A number of repetitions also can be chosen from you. Okay. So it's not recurrent by the way. And here we have the privacy. We can set privacy, whether it's public, private or only for internal users. Then how should your status be shown like available or busy? You can set it also from here. And that's how you schedule a meeting. That's how we create a meeting. Now just save it. And let's take a look at the calendar view there. Now inside this view, let's see. 
here you can see the trip not trip we did business lunch right so this is the meeting which we scheduled right now so here you can see it's straight to 5 30 and it will last till 6 30 so if you just drag and drop it down okay just drag and drop it down putting it on 11 okay now let's just click on this so in the business lunch if you just click on edit you can see the time has changed right by just dragging and dropping it to a, your desired time the time has changed and you can see the duration have changed to 5 30 hours before it was one hour right by dragging and dropping you can change the time of the meeting that is the ending time of the meeting and also the starting time you can change it okay closing it bring it back and that's how you schedule meeting now here you can see different colors and all regarding to different users now here you can see synchronize with google or outlook you can also sync with these two google and outlook then if you want to add attendees just click on add attendees here choose the attendees name okay and attendees added okay now we have different dates now this is the calendar view if you want the list view you have the list view here okay you have the list view of all the meetings which i scheduled and also you can see the attendees start and end date and also the duration and if you mention any location that location will also be shown here from here also you can create it now here we have filters saying my meetings now let's just go back to the calendar view and see now inside the calendar view i'm putting my meetings so these are my meetings and here we have to filter by date and filter by the status busy free public private then only internal users recurrent meeting online appointments so if you just look on online appointments you can see only the online appointments which are scheduled then you can see the archived ones and also you can add custom filter next we have favorites where we can search or save current search okay and use it by default you can link menu in spreadsheet insert view in article insert link in article that is you can insert a view this view or even the link of this view to the article inside knowledge module and you can even add this to the dashboard okay so these are the things which uh, meetings provide now if you want to see it on a weekly basis just click on week this is currently on weekly basis if you want to see meetings of only that day that is today today's meetings and appointments will be shown here and if you want to see it on monthly basis choose month from here and you can see all the things coming under this month okay you can see it here then we have yearly okay so here you can see all scheduled meetings and appointments of this year so here you can see in november we've scheduled a lot okay next if you want to see today click on today here and the next day or the previous day can be chosen by clicking on these two arrows okay changing it to day itself week it was in weeks well put it back in week so next we have the online appointments so here you can specify appointments by just clicking on create you can give the name of the appointment we'll see a doctor i'll just give the name as doctor and the duration scheduling allow cancelling all these times are uh, by default given there if you want you can make changes on it you can choose the user here and also you can decide whether in the friend and display should show his picture or not so let's say uh, choose or show users picture then here you can see the availability of a, of days that is in a week which all days the, the doctor is available or the appointment is available and also the time can be specified next under the options we have the time zone where you can set time zone the location if it's offline you can set okay, uh, location of this appointment then if you want to limit to work hours then just enable that if not leave it and if you want to create opportunities okay for each schedule appointment 
create a new opportunity and assign it to an uh, responsible user that is you can assign this particular appointment to a uh, uh, responsible user then for that you have to check it then also you have the option to set reminders reminders in the sense email sms notification and all and when should you get notified is also given at the end of the reminders and if it's a mail if you want to add a cc you can um, choose the person to whom the cc should be sent okay now we have questions if you want to add any questions click on add a line so here you can see what are your symptoms okay and if you want you can add a placeholder okay and if it's a required answer click on that then if it's a single line text you can set that multi line drop down radio so i'll give check box and for those check boxes values also should be specified i'm giving headache dizziness then what cold i've given some random um, answers saving it and closing it okay now next thing is you have to um if it's a required answer just check it okay so while clicking on that it makes a required answer here you have a smart tab called go to website click on go to website by clicking on go to website you can see the appointment inside the website publish it now you can choose a date schedule it okay give the name giving it as charlie name and all and here you can see what are your symptoms here you can see a star it's given because it's a required question or required answer i'm giving headache and cold confirm appointment you can see michelle edmund's picture so they ask for front end display whether to show his picture so the picture is given there and you can add it to google agenda or google or add to i call and outlook and if you want to cancel and reschedule it just click on this button here now let's go back to the calendar online appointment so here you can see the doctor has been added in the kanban view you can see one meeting schedule and total meetings is one okay here you have the preview and share and it's published so you can see the uh, ribbon there and if you want to share it click on share you get the link here copy link and close okay you can then copy the link and give it to whomever you want you have the list view of the appointments you have the filter options to show my appointments archived ones and if you want you can add custom filter we have group by where you can group by time zone and published ones and on our favorites we have the very same thing which we saw in the uh, you know meetings which is save current search import records link menu and spreadsheet insert view and insert link in article that is to link uh, insert the view and link in an article inside knowledge and here you have the option to insert list in spreadsheet and also add to my dashboard okay now next is the final menu which is reporting so here you have the reporting of the online appointments and you have the graphical view of the online appointments okay so here you have bar chart line chart and pie chart it also specifies a calendar view a pivot view and a list view okay this is the calendar view and next we have the all appointments where you have the analysis of all the appointments till date you have the bar chart line chart and pie chart you can also see the cumulative view and also it can be sorted okay and here also we have filters group by and favorites so these are the main things which comes under the calendar module i hope it's clear that's all for today's video thank you for watching